relationship talk with the Lloyds. And this is our Matter First Sight review for episode six. All right. Who are we going to start with? Nah. Let's start with Rihanna and Vincent. What did you think of them this episode? Man, Vincent need to watch her. Miss Bossy. Not just that, she bossy. Something about her. I'm telling you, it's something about her. What? <laughs> anyway, um, Rihanna and Vincent, they were kind of, I don't like to have a lot of notes on them this week. The main thing was that he was telling her, listen, you, you bossy. Like the scene in the bathroom, and she was like, no, you gotta wipe your face. He was like, I just washed my face with water and go to bed. She was like, no, you gotta wipe. And he did it. I was like, that's so simple. That's He doesn't do that. Leave him alone. He washes his face with water and go to bed. Why you gotta make him do something that you wanna do? So I think she was just being a little way. Her boysy side came out this episode, and he was like, all right, chick, I, I'm tired of it. Like, they, he, and I like he didn't do it on camera. He waited till the camera's left, was like, listen, we gotta talk. You gotta stop being so bossy. And she tried to, like, talk about, is there anything that I annoy you about me? Because she was ready to tell him something that annoys her. <laughs> but, uh, annoys her from him. So she was trying to, you know, you can tell me because I got something to tell you. But other than that, they were all right. They were able to, like, talk about it, resolve it, and then go on with their day. And that's what I like about them. They were able to kind of talk their issues out and move on. So that's good. But that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. got to watch her. You don't do those type of things. In a marriage or a relationship or a commitment, what I'm saying is she's setting him up. Okay. <laughs> she's setting him up because of hey, you in the bed, you like, hey, um, what you learned about me. Right there. There's a little flag there. There's a little flag. It's not so big. Yeah, she was trying to get her, her thing out. So she was like, let me give you room to kind of say something to me. So when I okay. say what I got to say. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. So setting the man up. Well, and he realized that, you know, he's Have voice I him. annoyed you? Okay. What else is that? You don't pay attention. Okay, you setting, you setting this man. See, right there, he should be like, Okay, what in the world is she doing? What is something to this? Some back end. She gonna come rid of her drama now. Well, you see the next episode, he basically telling her that you belittling me. Because in the beginning, like, you saw he was very compromising. He was like, she was saying where she want to live. He was like, okay, how many kids do you want to have? He was like, okay. But after a while, you could compromise her so much. After a while, you're like, okay, let me get some of my stuff too. It's like, it's a one-sided relationship. And he was like, listen, you got to give me a little bit too. I think that's what comes out next week. Can I tell you, you annoyed me. You still love that? That's right, because it don't make no sense. You setting them up. You just what you call it. Then you're going to say, you annoyed me. Oh and God. to tell you the truth, I don't even know what she said after that, because in my mind, as a man and and, and, and in a relationship, you don't do those type of things. So I don't even, I don't even care what he did. That did she, did she even announce what she was so annoyed about. Y'all tell me. Put it in the comments. He don't I don't really care. I don't really care. That's what she really said. Care. He don't pay attention to her. That's really what annoys her. I know I like her. I like him. You know, they they, they good. But you don't do those type of things. Like, you didn't want to show your bossy side and this and that. Come on, man. Over you got a good relationship and you about to mess it up. That was a just, trigger for just you. Just because, <laughs> just because you just stuck in your ways. All right, let's go on to the next one. And I thought, and I would say they was boring to see. It's not for you. All right. <laughs> you set, you set, come on, man. You're setting the dude up for the kill, and you know this dude. For the or, kill? That's right. That's what she's doing. That's what she's doing. She's like a proud. Like, ah. Okay. All right. Next and, couple. And, 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 and setting the dude up, man. Come on, man. Next you couple. You know the dude. Okay. That, you know, you know he, he, if he get mad. They, they, they said this, he get mad, he get hard, and you're going to trigger something into this dude. Why would you do that? Why would you push the man buttons? All right. You, you say, hey, we, we loving, we this, we that. And you're going to, um, you annoyed me. Okay. Her way is no way, and he can't have his way with. 
Right. Can we move on to Ryan and Clara? And you got to understand. You got to understand that you see how he bull rushed <laughs> Chris. And he's like, hey, man, calm down, calm down, calm down. Then he's, ah, something wrong with him. Something wrong with him. <laughs> you read the lights? That's right. Scene. I see something what some okay. people don't see. All right. Can we move on to Ryan and Clara now? <laughs> move on. All right. Ryan and Clara. <laughs> this week, Ryan basically tells Clara that he's never um, been in love before and never told a girl um, that he loved her. So she was like, you know, that was a little alarming. But I was confused about her because when they was with the girls, she was like, oh, he's, you know, he's my dream guy. Everything's perfect. I was like, no, everything's not perfect. Y'all got a little bit of issues. Y'all got the religion thing. And he's never said he loved anyone. And you always fall in love. Like, y'all are not perfect. Why is she fronting like everything's cool? I was like, really? What'd you think? She got some issues. What's her issues, though? I'm telling you, they not going to make it. <laughs> ben, I've been saying this. I've been, oh I've been saying God. They not going to. They not going to make it because they got issues. They got religion issues. That's a major issue because one thing, when one thing, they got issues. I'm telling you, they're not going to make it. Uh, She got sloppy bags. Back, I'm going way back. Sloppy bags. She, oh what else? God. I mean, she sleepwalk. She wild in the sleep. They got issues. They're not going to make it. Okay, we got your point. You just don't think. And I, I hope you eat these words when they say they're going to hey, stay together at the end I'll, of I'll, the series. I'll eat it like Jacob ate his hunger. <laughs> <I'll> eat <it. laughs> That's right. I eat it just like that. Hey, I ain't, if I say what I say, I stand. Let's go. All right. right. So the only thing is that Ryan and his demeanor through this whole issue, the whole issue of Paige and Chris and the whole argument, he was just so calm and collective. And he basically was like, listen, she needs to see that he's not a drama guy. And he basically was kind of telling her, like, listen, you got to just keep your mouth closed. He's Don't get involved with these things. Don't get yourself into situations that you don't need to be in. Just keep your mouth closed. But she would seem like she was agreeing with him. But then she was like, oh, is he trying to control me? Is he, is he, you know, is this for my benefit or is he trying to control me? Okay. Well, that's because the producers pull back and they say, yeah, you said all of the right things, but we need some drama. And then, as you hear the edit at the end, she was like, I don't know about, it. like, come on, man. Let's see. Come on. That's the producers right there. That's the producers. She knows she'll blab about. Blab about? Yeah. <laughs> well, she wasn't as bad as, you know who, Party Girl Virginia went in on this episode on your boy Chris. All right, so let's move on to Eric and Virginia. So for Eric and Richard in the suite, they was like, huh, they, they, they were, what's the song? I'm coming in hot. <laughs> they was coming in hot with everything. Virginia was coming in hot. Eric was coming in hot. And first of all, let's talk about when all the guys was together. Why was Eric drunk? I'm like. Because Party Girl influenced him. I think she's getting uh, uh, the bad end of the stick because. That you can't influence somebody that quick. They've only known each other like five days. This is true, but if you're trying to make the thing work, and she already told him like, "Yo, this is what we do. This is my friends do. We drink. They drink. Yeah, they drink every. What she said every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I'm like, exactly. really? Like <laughs> they drink. And um, and you see on the episode, she always reaching for the glass. She's sitting there talking amongst the the girls. She's always reaching for the glass. Always. So, <laughs> I was just like, dude, okay, I get you a little tipsy, but you, he was just pissy drunk. He was like, they would say, how's your relationship? She was like, yeah. 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 Like, like, everybody looking at him like, Yeah. Maybe dude. he is a drunk or something. And he, I hope not, because he he's trying to come in it up. It, people say he probably drink. But let's hope this is just like the honeymoon. You know, they in Vegas. He let it loose. Hopefully, that's not how he is in regular life. Well, um, um, Denzel Washington played the pilot, and well, it was something with drugs with him, right? Uh, he was drinking. Or, or too. drinking. So hey, <laughs> that was a movie. This is real life. But that was but a true real story. Yeah, that, yeah, was, that a was a real movie. story. Yeah. So hey, maybe that's he's like, not. hey, 
You know what? Wanna... My job, I can't do none of these things. But um, he on, on vacation the... right now, so yeah. he's like, I'm gonna let loose. On the loose. side, he can hey, turn it up. Close. I I, I feel you. I, 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 I could drink with you. Hey, he's trying to connect with his wife. But I feel that she, like, she just got all into other people's business this week. And then Eric tried to be the man, tried to be like, oh, I'm going, you know, defend my wife. But I was like, Eric, it's a little too late. You did it. It wasn't the right time. You always late. I'm like, why I can't? Like, even that, she said she always late, now he late. <laughs> she drinking all the time, now he drinking. Now, take out some good qualities. That's the bad qualities. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. But that's why he's trying to lay down the law and saying we can't be like this. I'm not like this. I'm and he's trying to appease her, and she's like, "Oh, I'm late. My my hair get wet late, tur." Late <laughs> So, <laughs> but I I was I was like, "Dang, that whole you know lay down the law when he was talking about no friends as being guys." She was really upset. She had the whole scene with her crying and talking oh, yeah. to Clara. I was oh, like, yeah. "Really? She was that upset about that?" I have guy friends and they're going to be my friends. I don't know why well, they're going to be like that. she's 26, not saying that's young, but maybe she's got a mind of a 14. Well, I Just hope saying. she got a mind of a 14-year-old, but she twenty, she over 21. She was like, I'm getting them drinks on. <laughs> I'm getting them drinks on. All right, what else you got on <laughs> Eric and Virginia? That, that's, that's all I got on them. On them. That you know, she's affected him. And, hey, Not in a positive way. Not at all. And Eric was like, I don't know. And he's trying to be a man. He's trying to, you know, what? I feel like that, like the producers, like went to Eric and Virginia was like, y'all gonna be getting on Chris, because Eric was getting on Chris doing the the whole when they was playing the the, the craps game with the, all the guys hanging out telling him to man up, and then Virginia got on Chris when they was doing the ATV thing. So I'm like, the, the producers just decide which couple we gonna get to be all in their business. <laughs> and Eric and Virginia was the easiest target because they both never never sober. So it was like they were explaining the fact that they were they were drunk when they got on them. Because Eric was drunk when he started talking about man up to Chris. And Virginia, you know, she always a little tipsy, so who knows? We shall see how it goes. Yep, yep. All right, so let's move on to are we done with Eric and Virginia? Yeah, we done. We done. All right. Now, I have to say, we're going to move on to Haley and Jacob. And I have to officially say that we called Jacob a weirdo for the first five episodes. <laughs> and I really feel bad now because I, this episode, we've got to see the real true Jacob. Like, he was not a weirdo in this episode. He actually spoke from his heart. And I felt bad for Jacob this episode. I was like, maybe Jacob was just like not used to the situation and he was a little awkward and he didn't know how to act. So he tried to be funny, but he came off as weird with the stuff that he was doing. But this episode, we find out that that they had sex. And at first I was like, I was like really? He and Jacob? Really? And then it's like, the way she said it, it's like, you know, we were, I guess we just, we married. So I just, we, just, we did it. Like... <laughs> That's all I have to say. Yeah. <laughs> I was like. Maybe she's the weirdo. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. She, this episode, she was the weirdo. So I was like, first of all, y'all had sex. Okay. So there was some connection there. You had sex with him. And then now she's just like, I, I don't want I don't know what's going on. I don't want to be, you know, she's like pulling away. So it's like, you can't do that to somebody. You can't, okay. Have sex and now he's thinking, oh, we're moving forward, we're going, we're getting to know each other. She's liking me because you know we done had sex, and then now she's like standoffish. So he's all confused, and she's not really giving him a valid reason of why. Well, maybe he's not confused. Maybe something happened and what made her pull back, and and he's not admitting to it. Maybe he ate one of his steaks and eggs sandwiches or something, and while <laughs> doing something. You know, he let one of them <laughs> eggs go. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, and, and she is just like, this, this is not clicking. I can't. I can't. I don't understand it. And she don't know how to voice it to the man. Or maybe, he, you know, they they did a little something, something, and he wasn't packing or something. I don't know. Uh. But we do know that throughout those episodes that um she wasn't really saying nothing. 
they were. She wasn't giving nothing. She's another one that was acting all fake, like when they would do the group um, on the last episode when they did the group dinner and then they was asking everybody. She was like, okay, we're fine. I was like, no, y'all not. You don't like this guy. <laughs> y'all not clicking. Why y'all fronting? Exactly. <laughs> and obviously we see, I think that, okay, she was like, let me try it. Because I think in the last episode she kissed him and she was like, she didn't even feel nothing. So she was like, okay, let me try. Let's just have sex and see how it goes. And I'm like, are you the female version of Chris? Like, like Haley, what's going on? Like, she never became a female version of Chris to me. Let me try. I kissed him, didn't feel that. Let me try having sex with him. And, and now I didn't have sex with him. I still don't feel that. And so now I'm going to pull away. It's like, you can't play with people like that. You can't play with people's heart like that. Like, he's trying to give it. He was quoting what Pastor Cal said. Like, he was paying attention and taking notes and trying. And she's not giving the same effort. And I don't think it's fair. So, vice versa. If Jacob would have did the things that she did. And she took him, took. You know, everyone they met downstairs and Jacob didn't come along with her and he told her or she told him like, no, I'm just going down there with my friends or whatever the case is. And everyone is down there except him. That's that, bad. That was just not right. That's bad. So you don't knock the man boots, you know, now you just cast them to, the, to side. the side. And if vice versa... If a dude would have did that to the woman, you know, y'all would be Basically calling Chris. Exactly. Y'all would be calling him a dog. That's true. And uh, so y'all need to call her. I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm not advocating. Yeah, but I'm, that's what I'm not, saying. She's I'm the female saying, version of Chris because she's doing the same thing. Not at the same level, but it's basically kind of the same thing. Exactly. You didn't talk. This and that. Now you're saying we ain't clicking. Or something. Like, yeah. okay, explain. And he's talk. asking her and she's not giving him anything. He's like, you're not giving me anything. I'm like, he's verbalizing what yes. he's feeling. Yep. He's verbal. He did it really well too. Yes. Verbalize how he felt. Verbalize how what's going on in their relationship. And she, she could have given him nothing. Stuff. Like, I don't know. And, and just on the surface, yeah. And he need a little bit more. Explain. And I think what you were saying before that whole that was just like pushed him over the edge. When she went so about they having a girls night. Like, and he just happened to go downstairs and get some food and see that it's everybody with their husbands. And then they ran. That's the thing. Like, yo, was everybody in on it against yeah, that's, him? That's, like, that's not right. They all ran. Like, who ran? Was it all the couples ran or was it all the girls? Who ran or just Haley? I want to know some more information. Because that was just cold. And, like, that hurt me for Jacob. You know, I think Jacob was a weirdo before. But I was like, dang, Jacob, I feel bad for you. That was That was kind of bad. Yeah. That wasn't nice, Haley, at all. Not at all. Not at all. Well, what's going on with my man? Um, they was the first ones to show up for the, for the dinner, huh? They, they was the first ones. He come walking down there with Haley. He was he was ready to eat. No, no. My no. man was ready to eat. He like, oh, the I'm get my wife down here. The best scene in the whole. We gonna eat, yo. I'm hungry. Where's my the my best egg scene and steak and my onions? <laughs> I was like, everything's going. People are arguing. You know, we, we get ahead of ourselves, but y'all know, y'all see the episode. Everybody's arguing, everything's going crazy. And Jacob was like, I didn't care what they're arguing about. I just want my food. The food's about to come out and they cause this ruckus. I'm hungry. I want my steak and eggs. Sure. I want the child at the table. <laughs> like, like everybody got up and laughed and he was the only one sitting there like, y'all really not going to sit here. Y'all really going to let this food. Not come because y'all <laughs> foolishness. <laughs> I was feeling you, Jacob. He's like, I'm hungry. I want my food. <laughs> but yeah, I felt I had to be like, oh man, Jacob is not a weirdo. He just didn't know how to act. Maybe her. Yeah. She she see her friend yeah, getting, the weirdo. getting married and this and that. Yeah, and, and she and she just don't. I don't know. She, and why are you FaceTiming with your friends all the time on your honeymoon? I'm like, we went on our honeymoon. We wasn't thinking about nobody else. We was trying to be together. Like, you're trying to get to know this person. This is the person that you made a commitment to. Like, why are you FaceTiming your friends all the time? That's one thing he was complaining. He was like, Dad, she FaceTime her friends all the time. I don't know how that's going to click because they right like, all in her life. And I get it. You have your friends, but come on. You got to spend some time with your husband. And I'm like, I don't know. That was just, like, weird. But, My man Jacob, when he was sitting there at the dinner table and all of that, he's like, yo, I'm not 
given place to this drama king over here. Yes, because he called and Chris he out. Just, you know. He was like, I don't think I believe him. <laughs> and I was like, okay, Jacob. He seen through the bull. He was like, listen, this is just a performance. That's and what I he felt said. like he, it was like, like that too. I can't read this guy. Like exactly. he, he you know, he says one thing. I can't read him exactly. And um and at the way beginning of the shows, he was Chris was calling him out for absolutely no reason exactly. that I know of. But um, it's weird. It's, it's weird. Well, I have to officially say that I was wrong, maybe wrong with Jacob. And Jacob was like, hey, listen, I'm tired of Haley's bull. Yeah. That next episode, he he, 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 hot. He, he he coming in at her like, yo, you try to play me. And that wasn't right. And I think he needs to get on hold with that because that just was not right. That was like hard. Like, how you do that to somebody? I felt bad for him. I, yeah. I, I, I did too. And I'm like, if you lie about something so simple, what else you gonna lie about? And she kept talking about, I've been sick for seven years. I've been sick for seven years. I, I you know to be around somebody 24 7 is like hard. Like, dude, why did you get married? Why did you come on the show? Like, it was a reason you wanted to be with somebody, right? You've been sick for seven years. Like, you know, yeah. why do this whole experiment if you're not going to be around somebody 24 7? Like, did y'all really think about what is is about being married? That's part of being married. Exactly. And I was like, that's another thought that came to my mind. Like, she's been single for seven years. So maybe Jacob gave it to her. And he was, She was just like, I can't handle it. It's too much. <laughs> that's another <what I'm> theory. <laughs> she was like, okay, I don't know what to do with this. I've been single for seven years. I don't with somebody now. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. <laughs> she had a practice. <laughs> His muscles was too much. It was too much for her. Yeah, he, 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 he went out there the and saw right? cobwebs. <laughs> and in fact, but then again, just because she been sick for seven years, that means she wasn't having sex. So she just didn't have a relationship for seven years. Who knows? We read too much into it. <laughs> <laughs> we way. <have. laughs> All right. Anything else on, on them two? All right. So let's move on to Paige and Chris. Like the drama continues. And as usual, first of all, I was thinking, like, why well, had to be Chris to ask all the guys about intimacy? Because that's what he do. That's what he's about. That's what he said. He want kids. I, I promise. I, I promise. <laughs> promise. Kids, 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 kids. Sex, sex drive. No condoms. This, this is what it. <sighs> this is his makeup. My thing is that Chris was just let's let's talk about first the drama with the Chris and Virginia and Clara argument. Who do you think was right? Was Virginia right for calling him out and Clara, or should they have minded business? Well, I'll tell you right now, um, the stuff that they were saying was based on you know their opinion, and I'm not going to say they should have mind their business. Because they was giving, you know, him the truth and they was defending, you know, her. But Virginia should have backed off a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, because the fact of the matter is you don't know both of them. You're just learning about both of them. And they trying to create a relationship together. Yeah, it's to me the wrong way how to do it on uh, getting their relationship together. But, um... You know, you you got to be sensitive about how you coming about them and their situation. I feel like, as I said before, I think that that was pushed by the producers. And I'm like, you and Eric got your own issues. You How you got time to be all up in somebody else's problem? I feel like, yes, you could give your opinion. But he said, all right, when you see he was getting a little agitated, he was like, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of fake um, concern. Y'all yeah, getting my business. Concern, they should have been like, all right, yeah, yeah. we'll back off. Like, I get it. Like, you want to project what but you felt. Just... And he was kind of saying, like, okay, let's back off. I couldn't be mad at Chris with that. But when he called them out, he was like, you will come for me? All right, I'm going to clap back at you. He was like, you drunk. You were drunk. <laughs> Y'all walking around the casino drunk. Like, when he called them out, they could, they, they had no comeback. It was the truth. The truth. They they couldn't come back at him, but I was like, tag, that was kind of harsh, but he ain't lying. 
Yeah, that's why you can't be over here with a glass house. Exactly. Throwing stones. Exactly. Because I was like, Jack, oh, Chris, all right. But Chris went overboard when he got back on the bus and started like, I'm going to make this bus ride home for everybody. All right, you said your piece, you clapped back at them, you called them out. Let's let it go. Well, that's why he was saying that um something with control, you know. I think he was like, yeah, I got to control myself. But this is, the man can't control himself. He, oh, he, he He's wild. But that whole scene with uh, when they went over to, to, to talk to Paige, and it was like, that's my friend. She's my friend. He's like, y'all are friends. I ain't friends. <laughs> y'all are friends. You don't know her. You don't know her two weeks earlier than I did. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, that was such a like a moment. I was like, I was kind of, yeah. He's like, y'all can't be going up there talking to my wife. And I'm like, oh, that's a little borderline controlling, like a little bit. And then he started walking away. She's like, okay, I'm just going to get up and go. Man is, man is fake. Man is I'm fake. like, that is not written and directed by God. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, exactly. you shouldn't, your husband shouldn't be like, let's go. And you like, jump up and like, you know what, I'm going to go, you know. Maybe she's a perfect uh, person to get married, but it's not to this guy because she, like, she shows, she got, she, she got she, devotion she, and exactly, she's, she's calm submissive and, and stuff like that, but you know, not to the wrong person. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not, that you got to give that kind of devotion to the right person. Don't show that loyalty it. to a piece of crap. Exactly. That just on the show just to get fame or whatever he's going for. I, I got money. Know. Hey, you got a third of my. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. So let's move on. To... He went. He he does go above and beyond. And I go above. Because he and, told her and that. Beyond. She, he, his ex is pregnant. That's going above and beyond. Yes, that's. And I was like, I wasn't mad at Virginia with that statement. Saying, oh, Virginia. Virginia, and she was like, that's going above and beyond, telling her the truth. Yes, that's. Yeah, that's embarrassing. That's embar I'm like, really? That's not. Maybe he don't know what that is. Above and beyond is like. Because he didn't want to tell him the first one. Like the going out of them. your way, going, you know, <laughs> yeah. I don't have to do this, but, um, what you just did, was. The minimum. <laughs> exactly. It's like, and it's because the producers forced you to do it. All right. So um, the whole dinner scene now. I was like a lot of people are saying Eric is right. A lot of people are saying that Chris is right. I think Eric just didn't know the time. Like Chris' whole fake apology. Yes, I don't think it was genuine. What? Because you apologize for saying I can't control what people say, but I control my actions. And then they didn't control your actions. Can't so it's like that whole apology. But if. They, Eric and Virginia was early or on time at least and not late. They would have heard the fake apology and this was like, okay, he did his little fake speech, whatever. Let's just move on from there. But they came in hot as usual at late. Eric oh. come in talking about, don't talk to my wife in that way. Hey, Disrespect my wife you, and all that. What we're not going to be doing here I was like, again is that should have been done yesterday like, or earlier in the day when the whole thing occurred. You need to say something to my wife you're going to have to go through me first. Okay? Right, dude? <laughs> I, I think they just had a whole conversation in the room. Like, Virginia was like, you didn't stand up for me. He was talking to me all ratchet on the bus and, and calling me a drunk and everything. You should have stood up for me. Then he was like, okay, babe, I'm going to stand up for you. We get to dinner. And that's what he came in with that whole thing. He didn't even read the room. Like, read the room. Come in and see. And Ryan tried to, like, calm everything down. Oh, oh. Yeah, Ryan. Yeah. Ryan was like, listen, okay, I see this going a little crazy. He did apologize to everybody. And, you know, let's just leave it at that. But no. Chris is like, okay, this is another opportunity for me to get some limelight, be all about me. Keep talking, keep talking. And I was like, Chris, you could just let that go. Like, you see Ryan trying to calm it down. Chris could have been like, you know what, I did apologize to everybody. You weren't here. And I think, why didn't he just wait till Chris, Eric and, um, and Virginia come to do the whole apology? He realized they weren't there, but he still did his apology. And I think he wasn't really want to say sorry to them. Of course not. I think he just wanted to say sorry to Clara and Ryan because Clara kind of, you saw she backed off a little bit. But Virginia kept pushing. And Eric also was pushing at her, at um, at Chris when they was together telling her to man up. So I think he just had more animosity against them than Clara and Ryan. So I think he did that intentionally. I'm going to say something that's, um, that's crazy. I don't know how true it is. I shouldn't be saying it. But, but I had to say it. <laughs> <laughs> why Chris or they having issues with he's having issues with 
the Caucasians. I don't know. That's that's the whole thing with the the state where that, Eric said that oh he was scary. That triggered a lot of people. That he fact he called Chris scary because Chris got up and he was like oh he was scary like. I you know black people they always try to make us seem like we're so much more. I don't know, than but that else, but. It, it, it it hit me on the last show, and I'm like, whoa, he having an issue with him. He having an issue with him, but he's not having an issue with him. He's not having, but he was willing to with Clara. He you know apologized maybe because she's hooked up with. Right. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just who knows. Just my thought. I'm not you know. But the thing is, the only people that really should have had an opinion was for um. Brianna and Vincent, because they were kind of privy, and that's who they went to to have those conversations. So if anybody should have an opinion, it should have been them. But the other people that weren't really from the beginning are the one that's like chiming in. And Haley and Jacob, they just mind their own business, because Jacob just wanted his food. <laughs> he tried to get something from Haley, and she ain't giving. He was like, "We got bigger issues. <laughs> I'm not getting involved with this stuff." Exactly. All right. So exactly. the main thing is that, of course. Chris always, like, Chris is such a good manipulator. He's a hypocrite. And for me, he's a manipulator because he knows, like, he knows how to get Paige. Like, he has her dangling on a string. Like, he says stuff to hurt her, and then he says something else to kind of bring her in. Oh, okay. You said that. That's what I was looking for. Exactly. He knows exactly I what to say to bring her in. Because he, oh, my gosh, yes. Because he was written the director. <laughs> what? <laughs> Maybe she about getting her money or something. She's like, yo, you know what? I don't know. Let me just get this money because I'm not getting with this guy, you know. And if I just lose this contract, if I walk off this show, you know, I'm not getting my money. But a lot of things are coming out in the press. First of all, let's just talk about the whole conversation we was talking um in the room and Chris is like, um, she said, like, oh, you know, when we move in together, whatever, I'll bring all the, the, the gifts and the wedding. And he was like, oh, we're going to split that 50-50. I was like, okay, first of all, all right. And then when they talk about joint bank accounts, she's like, what do you think? And he was like, no, I don't believe in joint bank accounts. And I was like, okay, that's a red flag. He's not willing to compromise on her dog. Like because she was like, maybe he, he had more money than her because they discussed, you know, about money. True, and she he and she tried he tried to play her. And she was like, What, I make like uh a, a, a third of what you make? He was like, No, a fourth. Like uh-uh. Really? Like, okay. What's your point? That, that, like, she already saying you make more money than me. Like, why you gotta downplay her a little bit more? No, you thought it was third, no, a fourth. Like, okay, whatever. Um A quarter or a third or something. A fourth is a quarter. Uh, see, she's a <laughs> math teacher. I can't. <laughs> Anyway, um, what else he said? He they wanted to compromise on her dog. She was like, you know, you know, that's my baby. You gonna talk, you know, to walk her. He's like, is it gonna be eating up my shoes? I don't know how I deal with that. And I'm like, you want her to deal with a whole live baby and baby mama drama. And all she actually do is walk her little dog every once in a while. You like, I don't know if I can do that. He said, hey, I'll play with it. You take care of it. Oh my god. I was like, no compromise on his end. Like, really, dude. But the whole conversation, y'all know what we get. Like, hey, you're selfish. Yes. You're selfish. Yes. The whole conversation, like my thing is, if I'm with somebody and he's saying he got an expert pregnant, I'm asking a bunch of questions. You sure it's yours? When was the last time you got together? What you gonna do now? How y'all gonna figure out how this gonna work? How it's gonna affect our relationship? You like, open the door. why didn't she you. ask all these questions? And she, and like, I wasn't mad when he was like, "Well, you never asked me." And he's not going to divulge this information if you don't ask him. That's why they stayed smashing each other because they didn't, he didn't give her place to ask none of these questions. He's like, hey, I like it now. That's what she should have been not doing that and getting to know him and see what type of person he is instead of just giving your body to him. Like, you're not getting to know each other. Like, she's finally asking questions and now she's all shocked because he said, like, you know, what you, she even know he was talking to his ex he just heard that she's pregnant. Of course, he's going to call her and say, what are we going to do? How are we going to handle this? Of course, there's going to be some conversations happening with the ex. Why are you shocked about that? But the thing that shocked her and shocked me, I was like, dude, in the w- beginning, when they first got married, she he told her about the ex and everything. She asked him, are you over this ex? And he said, yes. 
So now we're seeing that he's lying because he lied at that point because now he's saying, I still love her. How do you tell somebody you just got married to, whether it's the stranger or not, that you still love the ex? I'm cool. I'm smooth. I'm, I'm like, dude, she did a whole, like, when she hear news, it's like she just gets, she doesn't know what to do with herself. And she's like, like, who does she go out and talk to? Like the producers talk her down from leaving or something. Then she comes back with a whole different demeanor. And I'm like, did she go and do a whole prayer session or something? And then, <laughs> then she comes back and she's like, the Lord had told me I should stay. So you I'm going to come back revelation, and stay. Revelation. And I'm like, dude, like she comes back with such a different demeanor. And he just knows exactly what to say to her. I'll say this. Um. Chris, you know, I don't speak about men, this and that. I I, I would what to call it. If you looking at this, you know, you can holler at me. You you can get at me. But um I just I I have a question for you. Did you want a threesome? A threesome? Oh, with the ex? Because he the man the man the ever tell him all, all of this stuff, right? <laughs> and then he say, Are you with me? So that means he said, I love her. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I may be staying with her. I may get back with her. Then he's like, are you with me? So that means, hey, I want you. I want you. I want everybody. He won, he won three of them. That, that, he won everybody. He think it's back in the Bible days so they had multiple wives. I guess. I guess. <laughs> you, you, you trying to have a concubine and exactly. all of that. Like, hey, I'm like, come on, dude. Handmade. <sighs> Chris is that. just he full wanted, of he wanted drama. All. He's selfish. But the, ki the kicker is that like, he was like, first, let's go back to the, to the timeline. He sees her. He's not attracted, but he's attracted to her body. So he's sexually attracted to her body, but not her face. Because if, you know, but now he's spiritually attracted to her. Yeah. I was like, what in the world? Because she prayed for him. So I'm spiritually attracted to her. He just knew what to say to bring her back he's in. Like, hey, at the dinner table, yeah, I spoke to my grandmother and... You married now. You married. Oh, I'm a prayer over you. Have a prayer instead of instead of a scripture. So now I'm spiritually attracted to her, even though I just told her that I love my. I think I love my ex, and I don't want no other man to raise my son or my child or whoever. I'm like, just how you just like throw dirt on her and then like bring her back in with these Let words. I'm sorry. I'm cleaning no one up. Because I'm gonna throw some dirt back at you again, and then I'm just gonna. Say something to bring you back. That's in. why you can't enter a relationship with baggage. You got to make sure everything is healed and cleaned up. Exactly. So you can enter that relationship fresh. That's new. why he should have never been on the show. He should never apply being so fresh out of relationship. And she asked him that in the beginning, and he said he was fine. And obviously now, shown at this scene, in this episode, he still has feelings for her, and that shouldn't be. And that's messing with Paige, even though I still, I can't feel sorry for Paige because she's staying in this situation. She's deciding to work it out. She said it's written and directed by God. So she, <laughs> she is going to work it and see where it goes. So that's all I got. Anything else you got on them? Yeah. Why, why Chris want people to stay out of his uh, relationship and not say some things about what he's doing because he know he's doing wrong and he's somewhat admitted to it but he want her to stay and be loyal to him i mean chris man you're not right man when you dragging this poor girl along i'm done feeling bad you know, for Paige. i'm sorry yeah i'm not feeling bad for Paige. but what i'm saying is be honest man be he is it. Be, he what is, are you being honest about? He, he tells her the truth. He she asked him if he was in love. He said yes. She give he's given her so many ways to be out, but she's still staying in, saying she care about him. I'm like, you only know this dude for six days. He know he don't want her, but she is staying in there, and he's showing her all the reasons why. So she what I'm leave, saying is, be honest. He is. I feel like he is being honest in his own way. He told her he's not attracted to her. He told her, I still I still love my ex. What other things do you want him to tell you for you to be like, I'm out? So his words that keep flip-flopping, this and that, that's honesty? 
And that's that's the truth. She needs to recognize that he's not being truthful. If somebody tells you I I'm, love somebody else, I'm, I'm not else, saying that. I'm not talking about her. I'm talking about what he's doing. If I'm he, not talking about her her perception on him. I'm talking about what he's doing. He's not being honest. He's being honest in his own way. Because you doing one, you saying one thing and doing another. But she needs that's to recognize honest. that. She needs to recognize that yes. that's not a true person. You keep going back to her. I'm going back to him. Well, he is going to be who he is. She needs to recognize what is lying. She needs uh, to recognize that he's lying. Okay, so he's he, being so a liar. He can't be loyal or he can't be honest. He can't be and telling the truth. she needs to recognize that and put that all back on page. Like, he is showing his true colors. If you're not seeing it, that's on you. This is true. He got red flags here, red flags here, all kind of red flags. And she's still sitting there. No, it's ordained by God. It's written and directed by God. <laughs> all right. I think that's all we got on page and Chris. But we go, we go. Yeah, we go get cool. some gossip. Gossip. Just end it with some gossip. <laughs> This whole thing because this I think matter first sight this season has caused so much drama. The the every time I follow all three of the experts and under every post somebody always complaining we're so disappointed y'all we're so this so they had this whole issue with Dr Pepper posted something you got the other seasons talking about this season <laughs> for real <laughs> Dr Pepper posted something kind of comparing uh Chris and Paige relationship with Jeff T and Shawnee oh my God that had a whole big uproar. She was basically saying that Jeff T and Shawnee's in the beginning, their relationship was kind of rough to watch because of what they were going through. And they made it out okay and are still together. And then people, like, whole big thing about that. Shawnee's responded with a live video saying that, you know, she understand why Dr. Pepper made that comparison. Because in the beginning, they did, you know, it was kind of rough. Jeff didn't want to sleep in the bed with her. She was always crying. They had issues in the beginning. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. He kept saying, you're a stranger, whatever, to her. And then she, but she's saying that, you know, she don't know Chris. She don't, she don't want to talk about people she don't know. But Jeff T's no, no Chris. And I didn't realize she was saying how when Jeff T was on the show, they was calling his job to get him fired. They was threatening him. And I'm hearing that they do the same thing to Chris. We I'm don't like, want that. We don't people, want that. it's yeah. just a show. Like, we can have our opinions about these people. But they, <laughs> it's just a show. Like, threatening people and wanting to get them fired for the job. We're not stirring up anger. We don't yeah. do those things. Like, we can we, just we, share we our opinions <laughs> and our thoughts, but... When like, you start threatening people, acting on stuff that's that's too that's much. That. You 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 but, way over line. But then again, Chris doesn't help it because his his reactions. He reacted to Dr. Pepper and posted on his page talking about what? yeah. He, he he tried to get a Dr. Pepper talk about their record of some sexual marriages on the show. How I was only twelve out of thirty nine couples stayed together, and that they're worse than the divorce rate of the whole United States. And I'm like, uh. Chris? Yeah, I'm like, didn't you entrust these same people to find a wife for you? I you go dog, dog the experts out, talking about because they did because they're talking about you in not a nice way, but you entrusted the same people to find a wife for you. So, like, I don't understand what you're saying. Wow. Okay. But that's all the gossip I got for you. <laughs> just a little gossip, just, just a little tea at the end of the end of our review. So we'll see what happened next week. Clara, get oh my gosh. get your confidence up. You know, my man, he he want to stay with you, but you just push him away. Just get the confidence. You up. think what he want to stay with him? They not gonna break up again, or you gonna still you still think they gonna break up? They not gonna be together. But I'm saying, get her confidence <laughs> up because she think that you know. I ain't going into it. <sighs> we don't pass them. I just point. need Virginia to stop being so petty. And I don't know why she hates Chris so much. We we know why we don't like Chris. Because we see the whole thing. But she, like, what does she know so much? Is she Maybe actually, Paige is telling them they, some stuff they, that she really don't like Chris. Maybe that she's bad. seen some things because yeah. what did they not, you know, they, they cut off the cameras. It's only yeah. so much they can take. True. So. Maybe she's seen some inside stuff that she, because she, that her petty booze came at the dinner talking about you want a shot. <laughs> I was like, ooh, Virginia, you petty. Because that was a direct throw at Chris because he called her drunk. But uh, enough of them. We will see you guys next week at the next review for episode 7. We're looking Let's for a thumbs up. Yeah. Subscribe. Comment. Let us know who you think was right, Eric or Chris. 
Um, let us know what you thought about the whole situation with Haley, this and Jacob and going down with the other couples. <laughs> Just <laughs> give us your thoughts and opinions. We like to see y'all comments in the um comment section and respond to that. We'll see y'all next time. Let's talk with Lloyds. Peace. Peace. Bye, y'all.